What is the mysterious mental process that can take simple two or three dimensional geometric shapes, invest them with deep meaning and powerful emotions that will inflame humans and drive them to kill? Rudolf Arnheim in his classic Art and Visual Perception said, the shape of an object we see does not depend only on its retinal projection on any given moment, strictly speaking, but the image is determined by the totality of the visual experience we've had with that kind of object throughout our lifetime. The forces that trigger this change are complex and not easy to understand. The crescent moon and star symbol actually predates Islam by several thousand years. Most sources agree that these ancient celestial symbols were in use by the people of Central Asia and Siberia in their worship of sun, moon and sky gods. But when it was hoisted on Christian churches in the aftermath of the Ottoman expansion in Europe in the 16th century, it was looked at with a hatred that reached deeply into the recesses of the Christian soul. True crosses dating back to 1500 BC have been found in Mycenae, Crete and in Etruscan cemeteries in Tuscany. A Roman soldier looking at a cross saw an instrument of death, a place to nail citizens to, for transgressions to Roman rule. A Christian from the Middle Ages saw that same cross as a symbol of redemption and salvation, the reason to go out and slaughter in its name anyone who did not believe in its unique place as the representation of God. The six-pointed star was associated with the worship of Saturn, which in occultist texts was a symbol of the beast, or Satan. This dark meaning turned gentle, when for the Jews it became the sign of God's predilection for the children of Israel. In the 20th century, it has gone from the symbol of the victim to the symbol of oppression. Today, Muslims from around the world burn flags with the six-pointed stars, railing about Israel's oppression of the Palestinians. Form is the visible shape of content. The superficially harmless symbols are dangerous because they carry within them the buried memories collected over centuries of conflict and struggle. They can be murderous because as brands loaded with meaning, the simple images push emotional buttons that have spilled the blood of thousands of innocent people. Rinaldo Fratulillo's brilliant figuration of the symbols brings all of the above into focus with immediacy and raw power. Being all equal in size and placement gives them a false reassuring place since we know that historically each brand has tried to feel better and bigger than the others. The wrapping of each image in caution tape highlights the complexity of these powerful iconic logos and ironically the elegance of these emotional triggers that reach deep into our collective psyche.